So as I was about to introduce the area, <laughs> this is the kind of shit we see. This is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, United States Post Office. This is the, uh, we're coming up on Boulder Highway. This is between Boulder and Charleston on Mojave. Another area of the east side that it's hardly seen. There's a lot of industrial stuff back here, but I mean, it's good crackhead watching. I'll tell you that. Fremont and Mojave. I was gonna go left, but I'm gonna go right and turn around and come back down lower. As I said, it's always some supreme crackhead watching. This area right here is known for a lot of cheap prostitution. apartment complex used to be called the showboat casino if you're a real vegas og you don't remember the showboat i should have cleaned my window oh. now they got this terrible herbs apartment or a terrible herbs gas station and this showboat park apartments in homage Hotels aren't the classiest joints. But if you're also if you're a true Vegas OG, uh, you can probably remember when this Lowe's used to be Montgomery Ward. It's like 28th Street in Charleston on the other side. I don't know what this used to be called. I don't know if this street even came through. Um, and then the showboat was across the street. Down there where I don't know if you guys can see where it says the Green Shack. That was an old mob hangout, supposedly. I think they took the building down, but just the sign is there. All right. So now turn around heading the other way. This is uh, heading uh, southeast on Boulder Highway. This used to be the showboat. For years it sat empty. Now they built they built the showboat park. These are like areas of Vegas that you don't get to see. These are a little ways from the strip. This is kind of ghetto. Like I said before, known for cheap prostitution, car lots, shit like that. Crazy dudes with mullets driving forklifts backwards into the street. You know, you never know what you're going to see down here. This right here is the corner of uh, Sahara and Boulder Highway. swap me back in the day uh if you're another vegas og chapman dodge rebuilding their unit a lot of low budget car dealerships down here got the oh, this is some good shit right here this is the miracle mile and the four mile bar this place washed away into the ditch one time all those people's places and that four mile bar it's a laundry mat slash bar there's some good entertaining entertainment in there definitely uh, some of the best of the best hang out at the four mile bar
this old strip club right there called the library. It's not there anymore. Sure. You're from Vegas. You spent a couple of hours in there. Everybody remembers back in the day this parking lot right here. I don't know what that back street's called. I can't think right now. Uh, <clears throat> but this parking lot and this building used to be a like a um, Scandia miniature golf course, um, go karts, stuff like that. I forget what it was called. Boulder Station, off the Strip Casino, locals in it. It's pretty fun. Some good people watching in there. There's the 98 cent store. That's how you really know you're in the hood. This used to be uh, Arlen Ness when, uh, when that was popular on TV, you know, Orange County Choppers and all that stuff. Station casino. You know, this is the corner of uh, DI and Boulder Highway. Uh, usually there is some good shit to see around here. Today looks kind of slow. seen uh, in this parking lot over here but behind the Mercedes um, in that Dottie's parking lot over there you've seen on cops if you watch cops and you've ever seen any Vegas episodes they're always doing uh, prostitution stings on that corner we're gonna go all the way down to uh, Sam's town uh, we'll turn around and come back see what we see just trying to show you guys the parts of Vegas that are a little less seen I'm recording this with my phone so I and I'm driving probably not the best thing to do but don't tell nobody Yes, I was saying this <laughs> this uh, parking lot corner is notorious from the episodes of Cops. As you can see this down here on Boulder. This end of Boulder is a lot of uh, weeklies. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with weeklies, but everything that follows weeklies is usually <coughs> crime. You got weeklies, weeklies. They just built those apartments not too long ago. A giant dispensary. There's a couple of nice RV dealerships in this boat place down here. Arizona Charlie's, the east side. It's the newer of the two. But yeah, this is new. I mean, it's not a bad neighborhood. We're just going to shooting the place up like it's fucking gang banging in the 90s but it's definitely a lot of tweakers and drug, drug addicts down here yeah so this is the corner of Indios and Boulder Highway um so this coming up on the right not this little club but uh Skate Rock City right here through the bushes. I don't even remember those bushes being there. Um, but Skate Rock City, that's the, uh, used to be Crystal Palace Skating Center. Grew up in Vegas, it's Floyd Mayweather bought it. Um, I don't know, I haven't been there since. It's still popular now. I mean, it's gotten more popular since he bought it. I think he saved the place. I'm not mad at it. Good old Pepe's Tacos. More weeklies. As I said, this area down here is a lot of weeklies. Then you got Sam's Town, which is another locals casino. Binion. Sam Binion. Owned. He built that to 
his liking, I'm guessing. And this is the corner of uh, Flamingo and Boulder Highway. Usually some good entertainment down here too. Some good people watching in these areas. I'm gonna go down here to right in front of. Uh, we'll go down to the Longhorn and come back. It's a weird corner where Boulder Highway, Nellis, Flamingo all cross and make this weird triangle. to do some people watching this dude on the scooter killing it killing it bro yeah so we'll spin around right here at the longhorn this is Harmon and boulder highway boulder highway goes all the way to boulder city we'll do the rest of that some other time um i'm gonna spin around here at the longhorn and the cannery the cannery still hasn't opened since after the pandemic the longhorn funny enough old casino back open they got bomb uh, little cafe in there with the cheap deals. See that $16.99 prime rib, $7.99 giant steak and egg. They got this huge burger there. Fuck with the Longhorn. The Cannery Man is a nice casino, but I don't think it's coming back. Yeah, so spinning around. This is a Sam's Town, like KOA. Sam's Town is open. Tommy's from LA if you guys are into those chili cheeseburgers and stuff. Sam's Town is back open, the movie theater, all that stuff. It's a good old locals casino. I've been here for years. My grandma said she helped build half that place from all the money she lost. So we're going back the other way. We're heading uh, northwest now. I stay in the slow lane so in case anything good pops up over here on the sidewalk because you never know. Out on Boulder. You never know what you could see on Boulder. tweakers and stuff in there. It gets pretty bad. Seagull Suites also. And those back the trailer park. That's another RV park. I mean, there's a lot of nice more homes in there. And this place is surrounded by tweakers, but I mean, they got good security and stuff, so I'm pretty sure nobody goes in there fucking with them. actually stayed in these weeklies before when I was down and out so I'm not knocking nobody that lives in the weekly I'm just saying they're known for crime not for a good time oh, I see some flashing lights up here They're trying to help by asking him for his ID. We all know about that. Follow those First Amendment right auditors. You know, you don't got to give them no ID if you didn't do a crime. Come if you need your career 
biker, you need your vest and all your leather gear. I'll come sew your patches and stuff on. Like I said before, this parking lot's famous. It's, it's on all kinds of cops episodes, picking up hookers, people doing all kinds of weird shit in this parking lot. So you can see by the, uh, I don't know if you can see that over there, but there's a train of homeless shopping carts. We're back at the corner of uh, Boulder and PI. It's Lamb on this side. Uh, you can't see me. Well, it's Lamb on the, the right side and it's DI on the left side. Huh. Still got a guarantee on National Park sticker. A lot of stuff going on with that Grand Teton National Park lately. Yeah. These, this Motel 6 is one of the catalyst Motel 6s in Vegas, man, I promise you. You do not want to stay there. Boulder Station, I mean, their rooms are old. It's, it's not a bad place. Up on our highway, I'll lead you on to the 95 right here and put you uh, heading towards downtown. said we're just heading back the other way we already came this way the uh, we already went south so we're heading north now just you guys kind of already seen this see all those bum encampments down there uh, once the weather cools off i'm gonna actually go out and walk those bum encampments so you guys can see the amount of crazy homelessness that's in las vegas i, I mean i've been places like portland and uh, even Washington, where it's worse, but it's gotta be hard. I mean, even up there, you got the elements cold and stuff. Out here, man, that heat, 120, and this black top and stuff, that's gotta be crazy, man. See, this is what I was talking about. Uh, homeless encampments, we got these all over the place. Little, you know, and along with them comes the trash, man. It's just part of the thing. A lot of homeless people, sad. So again, we're crossing uh, Sahara and Boulder Highway. This side, this section, I mean, there's really a lot of like, low budget car dealerships. The Lucky Cuz Motel. Um, Capri Motel. A couple of these places are I mean, I've never stayed there, so I can't give it a review. But uh, this area, is, it's not known for the best stuff, but that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Everybody shows Vegas from the Strip's end, but uh, let's check out the bad neighborhoods. We'll walk, uh, driving tour. Once this weather cools off, man, I'm a big guy. Once the weather cools off, and I'll do some walking. I don't like sweating. It's too hot out here. Oh, that's crazy. It's like a glass G-Wagon. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if you guys caught that. This is uh, this little 
sign up here, the Green Shack. That that was a, a mob hangout back in the day. Like I said, the building's not there anymore, but the sign is. I'm sure they're gonna use that sign for something. But uh, this is where Boulder Highway turns into Fremont Street. So if you keep going north, it runs you right into downtown and you know Fremont that everybody knows about. But this is where it gets kind of hood. But um, we'll do the rest of that on another video. Thank you guys if you watch this. This is the uh, first of one of my driving videos, I guess. Appreciate it. Hey.